So if you're into rye whiskey or Australian whiskey, check out today's review on Let's Talk Drinks. Hi friends, so today I'm going to do a review and it is an Australian whiskey. Yay, I love Aussie whiskey. And this is the Archie Rose Rye Malt Whiskey. Now I've had Archie Rose in my venues for a lot of years now. Originally they were with their vodka and their gins and they had a really nice white dog, if you want to call it. So it was an unaged whiskey as well. Uh, what did they call it? It was just white rye, white rye, sorry. Um, this is now aged, <laughs> so I have had a, a bit of a try of it before. I, I won't lie, I've had a couple of bottles. Um, but I'm stuck here at home with lockdown again, have COVID. Thankfully, my uh, sense of smell and taste is still working. So these are the uh, COVID home reviews that you're gonna see over the next few weeks. Now this won the best rye whiskey in 2020 at the World Whiskey Awards. Um, rye's pretty hard to deal with from what I've uh, been told. It's, it's sticky, it's hard to malt. Uh, it's, it's a lot of hard work, so I'm glad that Dave Withers and the guys down at um, Archer Rose persisted with this because uh, it's really a great drop. Now it's at 40% ABV and the colour of it's so dark and that's because they use virgin uh, oak as well, virgin American oak. If you're ever in Sydney, get down to the Archie Rose Distillery, it's awesome. We're heading back up there in September for Bar Awards. Uh, all the staff are going to go and visit. Hopefully, Dave, I'll get to see you there. Might uh, swap some more bottles. I've got some uh, old Aussie whiskey. We might be able to do a trade. Now, I'm going to grab my tasting notes because like most reviews, I'll do uh, my tasting over about half an hour and I like to sort of let it open up and so forth. But, you know, you guys aren't going to hang around for that long. So, uh, on the nose, automatically a bit of a rye spice. But I, I sort of get a bit of a chocolatey malt there as well, like choc malt. Um, and it's not as spicy as some of the other rice. Now, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but I know that they use uh, malted barley, rye, and pale malt. I'm getting a little bit of spice there, which is definitely oaky spice. Flowers, but but kind of like freshly cut flowers, not just the flower itself, even the stalks, if that makes sense. Definitely sort of cacao nibs or chocolate nibs there. Ooh, smells really good. Let's give it a taste. So the first thing that I get it is very soft and approachable to drink. Yes, I'm getting a little bit of that rye spice, but not predominant, you know, like um, I, I did a review recently of uh, Yellow Rose, which I think was 95% rye, and I really get a lot more of that spiciness come through. So it kind of reminds me of a really nice single malt scotch. Um, caramel, vanilla, oak, demerara sugar, borderlining for me, a little bit like a, some of my favorite rums um, because just so rich and deep in flavor. Now, no peat whatsoever, so no smokiness there. I think it's very well balanced, but there's no predominant flavors. I feel as though they're married together really, really nicely. Being at that 46% ABV too, it's just really punching that flavor. Um, if you haven't tried this, get out there and give it a go. Uh, this one here was, I think, batch two. Second batch, yeah. Uh, cask type, yeah, it was uh, bottle number 941 out of 1973. The type of cask that they use is a 36 month air dried American oak. Pretty cool. And distilled by Dave Withers, as I said before. As far as the finish, let me have another. Hmm. A little simple uh, taste of that. Caramel, chocolate, burnt sugar, a really nice sort of viscous oiliness. I would say medium to long finish. But then I get that really sort of nice spice at the end and it's not like a, a cinnamon spice for me it's a little bit more sort of white pepper sort of spice it's really really nice 
I would actually love to uh, try this if they boosted the rye uh, as well. I like had it up around that 95%. I'm not sure if it's gonna do anything like that. Comment below, Dave. Uh, I know you uh, check out the channel sometimes. Would I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as most of you know, that it's very rare that I'll do a review of something that I don't like. I think there's only been one video and I'm not gonna talk about that. You'll have to find it yourselves, but um, awesome if you're a, a, a whiskey buff, awesome if you're just starting to learn whiskey because it, it is just full of flavor. It really does pack a punch. How would I drink it? Neat. Uh, add a little bit of water to it. I wouldn't add too much just to sort of open that up and even let it sit there for 10-15 uh, minutes. That's what I did earlier and then go back at it, have another nose, have another taste. You'll find that it's totally different once again. An old fashioned would work really well but as far as that I think it's too good to use as a mixer uh, and even in a lot of cocktails like a whiskey sour where you're sort of going to mask that flavour with the, the sugar and, and the the egg white and the lemon. Uh, if anything, stirred down cocktails only. Um, I think it'd make a great Manhattan actually. So, might have to do a video. A uh, Archie Rose Rye Malt Whiskey Manhattan. So guys, if you've tried it before, comment below. Um, I'm pretty sure it's available in America as well nowadays. So, um, hello to all my viewers in the States. Uh, I've got a massive following in India. Thanks guys, I appreciate everyone out there. Morocco, Australia, um, some really random places. Um, totally appreciated. Guys, please like, subscribe. If there's something that you have and you want me to do a review, comment below because uh, I'm always looking things, you know, to uh, try differently and, and just let you know what I think about it. Please like again, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.